Okay, so there you can see uh, that I've made a stack of boxes. Hopefully yours looks as beautiful as this. Hopefully it looks even better, actually. I bet it looks better. Um, but what I'm going to do now, because it's getting hard to see um, these crates against the background, the shades of grey are a little bit too similar. And the reason that is, and I'm not sure why Autodesk have done this, but they've started previewing um, different levels of, of gamma for some reason. Um, the way to turn that off, and it'll just make things a little easier for you to see, is just where it says on here, click on it, and it'll turn it off. And it just makes everything a little bit darker, uh, and the contrast's a little bit higher as well, so it's easy to see. What you can also do to make it easy to see your objects is this little fella here will show wireframe on top of shaded uh, objects. So if we click on that, it gives you like a blue outline, and it just makes things a lot easier to see. So for the time being, we'll work with those on just to make things as visible as possible. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create some architectural pillars. So we're going to try and make the geometry of the room look a little bit more interesting uh, by creating sort of supporting structures along one of the walls. So this time we're going to create uh, a cube in a third different way and we're going to do that from the shelf. So I'm going to click on here and a new cube is created at the origin. I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call it Pillar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize that. So I'm just going to change my view a little bit because I'm going to want to place the pillar along this wall. And then I'm just going to move it up out of the ground. And in fact, just to make it positioned where I want it to be, I'm going to move it up five units exactly. And then I'm just going to make it a little taller and I want it to just almost intersect the floor like that and that should then mean it almost intersects the ceiling as well and then I'm going to make it a little bit longer in this direction and I'm just going to make it a bit thinner on that axis okay so I'm happy with that that's beautiful 